one repurposed redneck pig shelter well house thing. Worked pretty good. I'm just gonna uh, seal up those cracks. Maybe stack some hay bales around it. I've got a, uh, a light inside on a thermostat switch thing. So we'll run a cord in through that window. If it hits 34 degrees, the light turns on, heats everything inside. It's got foil bubble foil on the bottom, so that'll reflect the heat up. Should work pretty good. Uh, I also buttoned up the battery shed. Uh, if you guys, any of you out there are into video games, you know about Fallout. I've officially renamed this place Camp Fallout. I'll show you the battery shed. So if you watched our previous videos about solar and all that, and you know this is where we keep our batteries and our inverter and all, our, our diesel generator and everything, and I've insulated this whole thing and buttoned it up. This is an old shelf we had in our old barn. <laughs> it was the perfect size. And then this is just uh, plastic. But the heat from the inverter is keeping it warm inside, and the insulation is keeping the heat in. Uh, if I need to add supplemental heat, I can. The only challenge and thing that might be an issue is if we do have to run this generator, it puts out a lot of heat and it has a radiator and it needs to be cooled and everything. So this flap right here is just one, two screws I can pull open and then it'll get cool air. And then there's the exhaust, but... Oh no, show the door. That's the best part. Oh yeah. <laughs> This is my uh, high-tech door operating system. <laughs> Pretty cozy in there. We don't want we don't want the batteries to get down to freezing because then charging becomes an issue. With, with these particular batteries, it's not terrible, like flooded lead acid batteries. But still, you want your batteries as warm as you can keep them. As close to 70 as you can. And that concludes our winterization process for this year. Now, this is all hillbilly engineering uh, and how to use stuff you have laying all over the place without spending a bunch of money or any money really. Um, as we've said, we want to put all of our money into our house, so we're using what we can to solve all the problems at hand. That doesn't necessarily mean that it meets building codes, but pretty much none of this stuff does. So, so this Sunday, uh, stay tuned for our dirt Q and A. It's going to be about prepping, and we're going to try the new YouTube feature, Premieres, where we premiere the video and we can sit and chat with you guys as we all watch the video together. Um, that'll that should be cool. We're going to try it, see how it works. Uh, that'll be this Sunday, 8 a.m. Eastern, and we'll see you then. Thanks for watching.